Good day. I'm Owen Fuja Felix, and on this introductory class to programming, I'll be taking you on translator. Translator. Now, what is a translator? Translators generally are highly developed programs capable of converting high level and low level language into machine language. A translator is a computer program that performs the translation of a program written in a given programming language into a functionally equivalent program in a different computer language without losing the functional or logical structure of the original code. Now, what are the types of translator? We have several types of translator programs, each able to perform different tasks. We have one, the assembler, two, the compiler, and three, interpreter. Now, what is an assembler? An assembler is a translator that is capable of converting low-level language into machine language directly. An assembler, I repeat again, is capable of converting low-level language to machine language directly. An assembler translates assembly language into machine code. Assembly language consists of mnemonics for machine opcodes. So assemblers perform a one ratio one translation to direct instruction. Now we have a diagram of an assembler converting from source code to the executable code. That's the source code passes through the assembler and then you get an executable code. Now two compiler. The next type of translator we'll be treating is a compiler. Now, what is a compiler? A compiler is a translator that is capable of converting high level language into machine language directly. A compiler is a computer program that translates codes written in high level language to a lower level language. The most common reason for translating source code is to create an, an executable program that is converting from a high level language into machine language now let's move to the interpreter an interpreter translates a high level language into an intermediate code which will be immediately executed interpreters are written for multiple platforms this means code written ones can be executed on different systems without having to be compiled for each. Now, examples of this include flash based web programs that you run on your PC, Mac, game consoles, and your mobile phone as well. Now, let's move into the basics of programming. That's things you need to know when we talk about programming. One very important thing is the language syntax. This involves codes which are understood by computer compiler of the computer language that you are using. A compiler has its own syntax and it includes the prints, the rem, the inputs, outputs and tab. It has to follow this particular syntax whenever you choose to program. And another basic is a variable. A variable also known as an identifier which contains some known or unknown quantity of information referred to as a value then we have constants another basic of programming is a constant what are constants these are data items which do not change during program execution for example one two three a b c now we have operators used for operations different signs and under arithmetic operators we have the addition the subtraction the multiplication division and exponent each of them we can see the signs used to represent them and we have relational operators that's for equality greater than less than less than or equal to greater than or equal to and then we also have logical operators that's true or false and yes or no it's either true or false or yes or no those are logical operations now in summary let's take a summary completely of everything that 
we should know about programming at the start. First of all, computer program is a set of instructions that tells a computer how to perform a particular task. Programming language, a formal language which comprises of set of rules used in instructing a computer to perform a specific task. Who is a programmer? A programmer is a person who writes a computer program. Translator is a set of instructions that convert a computer program from one language to another. The assembler, as we've said, they translate assembly language to machine code. A compiler translates a high level language into a lower level language. And an interpreter translates a high level language into an immediate code. Now, from everything that we've learned, I believe we should have the necessary basics when it comes to programming and translators, what translators do and how they aid us in programming. With that being said, I'm sure now we have the basic knowledge about programming and the use of translators. So here's an assignment. List three advantages and disadvantages each of the implementations of an assembler, a compiler and an interpreter. Thank you.